Welcome back to my channel, Trans Guy Reacts, where I react to certain videos from women's basketball. Today I'm going to do Katie Myers' retirement. I've uh, got some things to say uh, about it. Pretty shocked by the announcement, but at the same time not um, shocked at all. So yeah, let's get into it. Um, I'm going to be playing um, a little bit of this interview that she had. Um, and... Um, uh, after the last year when she went to the Final Four, uh, was it the Final Four? or the, No, the Elite Eight uh, against LSU, and they lost. But um, she did make a statement on uh, Instagram and, and X. Uh, it's very long, and it's actually kind of hard to read because she used, like, white lettering on orange background. So I was like, girl, <laughs> can't read this. So um, I did blow it up so I could read it. I'm sure a lot of people didn't want to read it maybe because it was super long. So let me get into it, and you guys can follow around along. So let's start. To my Canes family, 19 years ago, I was offered my dream job to be the head coach of the University of Miami. And while I have absolutely loved living that dream, it is with a, it is with a heart full of pride and gratitude that I announce my retirement from coaching. Miami is an incredibly special place, and my journey here has been an honor and a privilege. Today is a day to celebrate and reflect on the amazing success that was achieved through collaboration with outstanding people. Coaching is all about relationships, and I have been blessed to share in the growth of so many special young women. I want to thank every player I have coached for allowing me to share in their journeys along with their families. Uh, these are relationships that will, I will cherish for the rest of my life. Miami is one of the top women's basketball programs in the country, and our almost two decades of success has certainly proven that. That success is a tribute uh, to my staff, both current and former, who have absolutely devoted themselves to this program and to our players. I have been overwhelmed by the dedication and faith in me and will never be able to thank them enough. I want to thank the prou uh, this proud university for their leadership. Uh, there have only been two women's basketball coaches in 38 years here. Uh, which proves their commitment to this incredible sport. I have been blessed to serve under two highly respected and committed university presidents in Dr. Julio Frank and Donna Sh uh, Shalala, who not only supported our program financially through the years, but also sat on the sidelines and cheered. While the landscape of college athletics is overchanging and there is a there is never a perfect time to make this decision, I felt in my heart that this was the best time for a transition. Although I am retiring from coaching basketball, I am so excited to announce coaching, mentoring, and serving this fine university. Uh, I'm excited to continue that, excuse me. Um, I am very grateful to Dan uh, Radakovich, uh, Rudy Hernandez, uh, Joe Echeverria, Echeverria and President uh, Frank uh, for granting my request to continue the, uh, the elite, to elevate and lead. And finally, I want to thank my Skolak uh, Meyer family that celebrates life through sports and always shows up for each other. I have an incredible wife, Hunter, who has supported me with positivity and love and frankly deserves her own retirement party. To this amazement, th this amazing community and fan base, the love you have shown for me, uh, shown me for 19 years has been priceless and I am forever humbled by your support. I look forward to continuing to cheer in the on the Hurricanes alongside all of you Go Canes. So that was uh, her retirement uh, notification, her announcement. Um, very well written, very, very nice. Um, shout out to pretty much everyone she needed to, to shout out. I'm um, excited that she's going to stick around and she's going to be a part of the game still in this new role. And apparently this new role, she's going to be uh, uh, helping with like fundraising for the women's program, serving as a mentor and alumni uh, with the alumni and liaising with the alumni and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, she's going to be a really big part of uh, Miami still, but she just won't be coaching. And I mean, coaching, she's been coaching at Miami for 19 years, but she coached at Charlotte before this, I believe, for a few years as well. So she's been coaching for a long time. She's she's good. She can retire uh, uh, and enjoy her life, um, not yelling and screaming <laughs> from the sideline. You know, that, that takes a lot, a lot of energy, a lot of, uh, can be a lot of stress, you know. So really excited for her journey and where she's going to be going next. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm super excited for her. Um, what next? Well, you know, I'm really curious who's going to be 
uh, taking over this position uh, for her. Um, I'm not sure who who they have in mind. I think they're going to be looking internationally. Um, oh, God, you guys can probably maybe hear that in the background. There's an alarm going off. I live in the hood, so that happens a lot. You're just going to have to deal with that. Uh, but, yeah, I'm super curious who they're going to have to replace her because they, do, they don't typically uh, go through coaches really quickly. So I'm assuming whoever they hire is going to be a someone who's going to be in the position for a really long time can't say who that would be i mean the only person i can think of offhand is kyra lz because she just uh, got let go from kentucky um she's a really good coach she just you know needs quality players so um i can see her because she you know they like won the sec championship like in her first or second season so like she has talent she's a good coach it's just um uh, finding the right fit, right, and, and, and investing in, in that, so i um, curious to see how that goes, and i um, excited for uh, Katie's, uh, Katie Meyer's new journey, and um, I'll be following along, so yeah, that's that's pretty much it um, in terms of updates about her. Um, I do want to point out, um, you know, last year against LSU, they went to Elite Eight, she was like, <laughs> you guys remember Jasmine Roberts and, and Destiny Harden, she was like, they, those two players were killing it, killing it, um, also, I do want to point out that she, that Miami was invited to the new formed, uh, WBIT, um, but declined to go, so I don't know if this had anything to do with it, she was like, I'm done, I don't want, you know, like, we finished the, <laughs> the season, the regular season, we didn't get into the NCAA, I don't want to be in any postseason. I'm, I'm retiring. I'm done. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of curious about that. If she waited, she, did she ask her team if they wanted to do it or if she just decided like, no, we're done. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, excited for her. I hope she gets as much rest and relaxation with her wife as she can and look forward to seeing her on the sidelines. But yeah, so that's an update about uh, Katie Meyer's retirement. And yeah, see you guys in the next one. Later.